Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another review. Now, you may well have noticed just then that I didn't say a beer review, because I guess, theoretically, this isn't actually a beer, but it is an alcoholic beverage, and it's one of them that could well be done while sitting on a park bench at seven o'clock in the morning, looking very unclean, un unshaven if you like, uh, and looking a bit rough and ready. So the drink we are looking at now, it's a cider. It was picked up from Bargain Booze or Booze Busters for a whole pound. And what we've got is a can of Frosty Jack cider and it's coming in at 7.5%. And this is in a 500 ml bottle. So not far off a pint of a 7.5% cider for a whole 99 pence or a pound. One or the other, <laughs> you know, it don't make much uh, difference really. Now, a lot of people will be aware of this cider. I'm aware of it. I genuinely can't think if I've ever had it. I may well have had it, but I don't think so. Because it's been a long time since I've tried any of this cheap, nasty stuff. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There's the label. Uh, no, it's not my missus just turned up. There's the label, Frosty Jacks, 7.5% cider. I don't have a Frosty Jacks glass. So I'm gonna wang it in the old Copperberg one. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a little bit rough around the edges. And once I've poured it, once I've poured it, I am going to uh, look at a little bit of info on the can, just basically where it's from. So, there you are, I'll show you that in a bit. No, look, there's no head, it's gone instantly. Uh, so yeah, on the can it's saying, Aston Manor Cider Mill, Stourport on Seven, Worcestershire. So Frosty Jacks are out of Worcestershire. So even that's kind of local in a funny kind of way. We've got Benny's coming up for a bit of a, go on, move your bum. Get on there, cat. Get, go on, get on there. Yes, thank you very much. Right, so yeah, out of Worcestershire. Uh, and let's have a look at it. Do you have to come in and see it? Sit down then, sit down. The viewers do not want to see your big bum, do they? So, cider in a glass. Uh, my God, it looks more like a pear cider because it is so pale. I don't think there's many apples gone into this, is there? Not judging by the color anyway. So it's extremely light. For me, it's looking very much sort of pear cider, Perry's sort of thing as they used to call it. Uh, lots of carbonation going up. The head fizzled there for about two seconds and disappeared. So let's dive in on the nose and see if we get any resemblance uh, of any sort of apples. I can't even swill it because it just, it's just gonna spill over. Let's have a sniff. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's no, I mean, genuinely you'd probably go, there's no apple in there. You can't even smell nothing. But if you sniff really hard and you concentrate really hard and you tell yourself there's a light whiff of apple, you might just get it. It doesn't smell boozy at all. It just smells of nothing. It smells of absolute nothing. So let's dive in on the old bargain, bargain booze or booze bargains or whatever you want to call it. Get down there, cat, go on. Uh, Frosty Jack Cider. This review's going terrible, isn't it? Cheers for all you park benches out there. Get the rest in let's get the rest in so i said if you really sniffed hard and told yourself there's apple in there you'll taste the apple in all fairness there's no wateriness in the body of the beer but it is very light but there's no watery feel 
it's massively carbonated. It's got heartburn, indigestion, all the notes that you get from a harsh beer. It's got all them in the background. It's not smooth. It's not smooth, it can't be smooth. It's bubbling away. And ironically enough, you look at the bubbles in there, yeah, it's busy, but it's actually busier than what the bubbles look. It's, <laughs> oh dear, yeah, it's, it's light, it's gassy, on the taste. It's got that cheap cider, cheap wine, vinegary feel about it. It's very acidic. It's got the lightest of apple flavours in there, if you like. I mean, you could even say there's pear in there. It wouldn't even surprise me if they just put any old shit in there that's the cheapest chips. It's even got a grape feel. Grape, apple, pear. It's got that feel about it. It's got that acidicness about it. You do get a little bit of the booziness in there. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I mean, it's very clean, it's got to be said. It is very clean, it's very crisp. It does wet the whistle. And it does that with minimal flavour, a little bit of alcohol, and a lot of cheapness. That's what it does. Uh, Saying that, saying that, there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing watery in this for me. It's very light, but there's no wateriness in it. There's nothing, yes, there's, you get that acidic thing with a cider. And I think you can get some of that with a lot of ciders. There's nothing particularly nasty in there, but I'm guessing with a cider, apart from that acidicness, and maybe a little bit of vinegary kind of feel to it, you're not going to get anything overly nasty. Uh, and I guess they kind of get away with that with cider because there isn't too much that can go wrong. And even the little bits that do go wrong, the rest of the flavours and that sort of carry it. Uh, for me, what do I think of it? Is it the best cider I've ever had? Nowhere near. Have I paid a lot of money for it? No, I haven't. I've paid a pound. 500 mil, 7.5%. Do I expect the best kind of cider? No. Can I see why some people might drink it? Yes. It's cheap, it's big, it's powerful. And it, it's not like it really makes you gag or anything. It's not a, 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 a horrible tasting thing. But it does have its downsides. Uh, would I buy it again? <laughs> I wouldn't buy it again, I really wouldn't. But the worst thing is, if there was this on offer at someone's house, if I'd gone to a party and there was this on offer, uh, and Carly, or Foster's, <laughs> I'd probably still bloody drink this. Uh, I probably would. That is mental. So, there you go. There's my thoughts on this beer. It's not one I would go out and purposely buy it. I can see why some people would. It's rough around the edges, it's cheap as chips, it's what you pay for. One pound for a big can. You can't go wrong really, can you? If you want to get pissed, four cans of that, you're away for four quid. So, there you go. Oh, excuse me. Some of them bubbles coming back up. So, there you go. Uh, if you've had a Frosty Jacks before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we've got a few more big ones to come up uh, in the future. Carlsberg, Special Brew, Skull, Super. We've got a couple of big ciders as well, so look out for them. 
Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of an awful review, to be honest, but uh, let's end it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.